Welcome to the swamp. The giant that the head ball coach awakened. One that thrived in urban renewal. And now one where only the Gators get out alive. Today, a couple of SEC teams get ready to square off in what ought to be an old-fashioned slobber knocker. As we'll see, the Kentucky Wildcats taking on a squad hoping to prevent another L this week, the Florida Gators. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, joined here in the booth, as always, by David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Guys, let's tee this one up. Kentucky ready to go toe meets leather and start this game. He'll bring it back from inside his five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. So Florida's offense is on the field for the first time today. Sometimes you sense that what the kids call swagger is a false bravado. This dude is nothing but real at wide receiver. Uh, he's got that speed, and it just, you see DBs, they're probably watching him come on the field right now, and they understand it's going to be a long game. This guy can go get it. He can run. He can do a little bit of everything at the wide receiver's spot. And that's going to fall to the ground incomplete. That was a physical matchup there. Third down coming. To the air. It's Mertz. Trying to get to him. Trying to make magic on the scramble. And couldn't quite find the crevice he needed to pick up the first down. And the Gators will bring the punt team onto the field. He's going to try to flip the field with this one. Looking for a block. It's Brown. The coverage team gets the job done, and they'll mark him down at the 38-yard line. The Wildcats offense will have its first possession of the game. One way to mitigate the explosive capabilities he has on the outside is be physical with him, and this dude will do that. He will do that, and you don't see a lot of offenses take the top off this D because of this guy roaming around in the middle of the field. He is a true center fielder, so this receiver is going to have to make plays. And this just does such a great job of getting guys on the ground. A lot of people are in position, but he makes plays, so him versus a dynamic wide receiver on the outside would be a great matchup. This crowd bringing the energy and noise early. They're trying to get to it. And this sophomore able to wreak some havoc and get the sack. It has been said that the other team's quarterback must go down, and he must go down hard. And he did. And often is good, too. The most you can get to him. But great job by the defense, rushing the quarterback, understanding the pass, and getting the big fella on the ground. Kentucky will be forced to punt. Three and out and not much choice but to get rid of the ball. He'll bring it back. It's Abrams. This guy is a daring punt return man. He's not going to settle for the fair catch. A solid return. Gets a little bit of ground for the offense. He wastes no time and comes out throwing. Pressure coming. And that's a very productive first down play and bringing up second and three. Dropping back, it's Mertz. Just a short pass to the tight end. Brought down to the ground, but he has enough for the first down. The offense getting set for a first down from the 45. Used the play fake, now to throw. Quickly out to the tight end. They make the stop, but the sweet pulling catch is plenty to give them a first down. The Gators come to the line with a fresh set of downs. Quick strike complete. They make the stop after the catch and still some work to do to pick up that first down. The defense is backed up as the offense is in the red zone. They'll test the right side. Got some room, head to the goal line, and he waltzes in for the score. Touchdown, Florida! I love running backs that have a nose for the goal. Understand how to get there, finish strong into the end zone, know I get six, and then go celebrate with your boys.
on to attempt the try. And the PAT makes it 7 0. And let's check in with Kevin Connors in the studio. Kevin? Hey, guys, let's take a look at what's happening in a great top 25 matchup. Georgia Tech has the lead right now, but if this team has taught us anything over the years, it's that no lead is safe inside Bobby Dodd Stadium. They're up by seven over Notre Dame. We'll circle back. If anything big happens, you should know about it. Thanks for the update on that one. Kevin, let us know when it goes final. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. Running it to the right. Dragged down to the turf, but not before getting the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. The give to the back. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Second down coming up. They'll go to the counter. Pushes ahead for a couple. They'll mark it at the 33. Here comes this home crowd as the defense tries to get off the field on third down. Wants to throw. It's Vandergriff coming after it. And the pass rush he is effective, and they tackle him at the 19. This offense is going to have to come up with a plan to block this guy. He is an absolute monster, and he showed you all his tools on that sack. Kentucky sent out the punting unit. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Slips through the line. The solid return there offsets some of the punt yardage and really sets up this offense nicely. Florida has the ball back, and here comes the offense. Really good balance on that last drive. They mix it up all over the place, Jesse. Yeah, how nice, too, to have the defense on their heels because at this point, they don't know what's coming at them. They had problems stopping everything that last drive did. So I think this defense would come back with a little more aggressiveness. I mean, they let them have what they wanted. Now they got to dictate to this offense a little bit more. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. Wide out in motion. Wants to throw on first down off the play fake. Fires to the wide out. He's got it. They will score. Touchdown, Gator. Quarterback's abilities to read the field is huge. And also the anticipation, the time to be able to throw the football, Jesse, and hit a guy in stride so he can get run after the catch and get in the end zone. That was a nice job by the quarterback. Yeah, it's critical, David. Listen, a lot of times, touchdown passes aren't thrown into the end zone. You've got to read the coverage, hit the open guy, and let him do the rest. He'll try to tack on one more. And the extra point pushes the lead to 14. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And they finish the deal with a 26-yard touchdown pass. He'll bring it out. It's White. He stops short of the 20 at the 19 and probably wishes he'd just taken the touchback. Kentucky has it back, and the big blue offense takes the field. To say this has been a slow start is a bit of an understatement, and they really need to get it going here, Jesse. That's right. The opponent, they're firing on all cylinders right out of the gate. Offensively for this unit, they've been slow and struggling. They need an explosive play to wake themselves up. Yeah, and it's just the first quarter, so it's not the end of the world. You've seen slow starts, but you got to continue to pick and pick and pick until you find that play or, or that scheme that you can use against this defense. Pocket starts to collapse. They're setting up the screen. Didn't have much room to run and not a whole lot of help. Short game there and still plenty of ground to cover for the first down. Fourth down and the punt team sends it the other way. He only needs a sliver of daylight. Working his way on the return up to the 40-yard line before he stopped. They'll start this drive and snap it from the 40. Quick pass on the fly motion. 
And a nice, solid pickup there before the defense wrestles him to the ground. Halfway there on first down and second and five. The handoff to Johnson. At the 45 on his way. They make the stop of this running game. Moves the change as they get the first down. We've come to the end of the quarter, and it's Florida on top. They wanted to strike first and strike hard, and they've been able to do that here in the first quarter as we take a look at the stats. This could be a pivotal moment in this game as we open the second period, and they try to find a way to answer. They're getting this guy lathered up. Not a whole lot of room there. Three yards, maybe. Second and seven. Kept it on the ground on first down. Now back to the line. Back to throw. It's Mertz. Looking to the big tight end. Got him downfield. Couldn't quite nudge it in. Not sure you could get much closer, but it'll be first and goal. I know it's early in the game, but defensively after that play, you know you have to tackle the catch. When this guy gets the ball in his hands, he is so dangerous after the fact. So it's okay for him to make catches. You just got to get him to the ground quickly. The Gators have it in scoring position on first and goal. Out of the gun, looking to throw. Feeling some heat. And the sack all the way back at the five. Yeah, and first and goal, I, I think a lot of people get very conservative. Let's run the football. You know, let's be very predictable. You, you got to, you can't be predictable, right, Palmer? You got to be aggressive, but, but what happened? Well, I like the idea calling a pass play down there, but hey, for quarterbacks, it's touchdowns, checkdowns, or threes. You are not taking a sack under any circumstance right there. That quarterback's got to do a better job having the clock go off in his head to keep his offense in good position to score. And he got nothing, and the line of scrimmage is still the five-yard line. The defense trying to make a stand on third and goal. They're bringing heat. And he's sprinting. He'll take it all the way. Touchdown, Florida. They are seizing control and taking away hope as they push out the lead in this Week 8 showdown. What moves, what escapability, what a play to get it into the end zone. What a bad job by the defense containing this. Coming into the game, you knew you've got to build that fence around the quarterback and keep him in the pocket. Do not let him escape at any cost because plays like that will happen. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. They put together a 65-yard drive for the score. And they punctuated it with a five-yard touchdown run. On the run from inside his own five. Couldn't find a way to create that broken field as he stopped at the 25. Kentucky sends the offense back out onto the field. They just haven't been able to get anything going, and they better get started or it's going to get away from them, David. Yeah, and these are the weeks that you really wish that you were playing a video game, and you could just reset the console, start over, Jesse, and make something better happen early. It just looked like they're sleepwalking in this first half, and it's not just one guy. They, they just haven't been playing collectively as a unit. And if I'm the head coach, I'm considering starting to give some other dudes some chances here. Going to the ground. Nice, solid form tackle from this sophomore. Ball is at the 42-yard line, close to four-down territory. Here's third and short. They'll give it to the back. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Kentucky will be forced to punt. Not able to pop the big return, but they've got the ball back and ready to go with a fresh possession. The Gators sending the offense back to work. 
This has been exactly the way you draw things up, David. The offense has really been moving the football. And it's been great execution. They've done exactly what they've wanted to do. Build the lead. Now Palmer's a different animal. Now you got to protect it. You can tell they were paying attention in practice this week in the film room because they have gone out everybody right now in the same place. You can break this down a lot of ways, but on that play, the quarterback just believed his guy was better than the defense. And he was really right. And anytime you get pressed man where that corner on the outside is all the way up on the line of scrimmage, trying to get hands on that wide receiver. If I win right away, oh, man, you can make a big play on the outside, and he makes a big play for his quarterback. Here's the handoff. And offenses want to continue to feature the run. They want balance. Even if it's not super successful, you can take it a little bit at a time just to keep that defense honest. Fires left. He's got an open man. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. He came into this year with big expectations. Everybody expected him to stat it up. And now with that last completion, he's already over 2,000 yards passing for the season. And the Gators are flying down the field. To throw, it smirks. Throws to the tight end. Makes the grab. So close to that end zone. He can almost taste it, but it'll be first and goal for this offense. Trying to run it in. Into the end zone he goes. Touchdown, Gator! And the offense continues to run the football. The second rushing touchdown from the running back. The offensive line paving holes continue to feed this man the ball. Lining up to add another. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. We check in with Kevin Connors. What's going on, Kevin? A bit of an under-the-radar game this week, guys, but take a look at this. Texas Tech is currently up big right now in a game they'll be talking about in Lubbock for a long time. They're up 14 over Baylor. Any big developments in this one, we've got you covered with the best studio team in the business. Gentlemen. And how about that one? Kevin will be keeping an eye on everything going on elsewhere. They've got it to the 49-yard line, and they'll move the chains. Well, Reese, you and I were talking about this before the game. How is this defense going to be able to deal with all the speed they have offensively? You saw them just rip off a big play. And, Jesse, now their head's spinning just a little bit. Give up a big chunk play, and it's right back at them. And he finds some solid space, makes a nice game before the defense is able to stop him. They move the tight end all over. They'll run the jet sweep, making the defense go sideline to sideline. The Wildcats get it past the sticks. Not the most productive half for this offense so far, but finally starting to get it in gear. First and ten. He's right on target. They make the stop right there. Good pickup, but still short of the first down. Picked up some yardage with that completion. Now second down. He'll keep it himself. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. It's third down now. They ought to be able to get off one more play before the two-minute warning. Looking to pass. It's Vandergriff. Unloads to the wideout. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. Excellent job working through the air there, finding a hole in that defense and picking up a first down. Getting some heat. Throws for the tight end. He caught it. He stopped just short of the goal line, but they'll have it first and goal from the one. First and goal, Kentucky. They'll try to find room outside on the jet sweep. And he takes it in for the score. Touchdown, Kentucky. A nice job by this offense, putting the scoring drive together. And now, listen, it's not even halftime yet. So keep fighting, um, you know, going to halftime, regroup. We found a little something-something on this drive. See if we can cut into this lead and continue to make this game closer and closer.
Ready to try the point after. The extra point is good, but they're still down 28-7. 76 yards on the drive for the touchdown, and they capped it off with a one-yard plunge. Looking for an alley from inside his own 10. Makes a move. He's got an alley. He's gonna get loose. He will score. Touchdown, Florida. He is headed to the sideline with a little bounce in his step after scoring on that kick return. And he should have some bounce in his step. How about the effort weaving in and out, covering all that space, great blocking on the play, and he does the rest. You don't put guys back deep that can't roll. And you can see when he got in the open field, he rolled out. Getting set for the point after. And the extra point sails through, and they have a 35-7 lead. They're lining up to kick it off full of momentum after housing that last kickoff. Fielded in the end zone. It's White. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. Kentucky has it back, and the big blue offense takes the field. Boy, they've been caught in a buzzsaw here in the first half, but maybe a chip. And the defense makes a play, sacking him back at the 10. A timeout is called as this offense tries to find a way to get more points on the board before the half. Back to throw, it's Vandergrift. That's the kind of protection you dream about as he fires left. And it slips through his fingers incomplete. That would have been a huge gain if he could have squeezed it. The give to the tailback. And sure, tackling there to keep him from getting to the first down marker. Timeout called by the defense is their first of the half as they'll go to the sideline and try to make adjustments. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. He's got great speed, and the coverage team gets the returner on the ground. On first down, here comes this offense. They'll crank up this drive with the pass. And they couldn't hold off the heat, and he goes down with the sack. Well, obviously, at this point in the first half, the defense is finding themselves in a hole. You just get the feeling if they're going to get back in this, they're going to need more plays like that. They're going to need sacks. They're going to need turnovers. They're going to have to create negative plays to get themselves some momentum. Second down now after the sack. He's looking to throw. Trying to get to him. And he feels the heat coming and it burns him up. Another sack. That's going to wrap up the first half here, and now we join Kevin with the halftime update. Thanks, guys. What a scene there in Gainesville. What a fine college football game we've got. An entertaining first half, and we've got a multi-possession lead to break down thanks to the surgical precision of this offense. Might honestly take more time to talk about what didn't work than what did. The running game, the passing game, gadget plays have worked. Now it's just a matter of finishing the job. And with that, let's send it back to our men in the swamp. The Gators will try to kick this one deep to get things underway in the second half. Let's see what he can do with the return. He gets a block. Got a little room. And there he goes. He'll take it to the house. Touchdown, Wildcats. What a way 
to seize momentum here. You start the second half, you take the first kick back to the house. Great blocking and an awesome job in the open field, making people miss and showing you the speed on that return. Wow. Lining up for the PAT. And the extra point is good. They still trail 35-14. They're just about to boot it away full of energy after housing that last kickoff. And he takes this from inside the five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Florida has the ball back, and here comes the offense. Off the play fake on first down. How about that play to get a hand in there and force the incompletion? After the misfire, it's second down. Looking for a man. It's Mertz. Using the quick game. And he's brought down after a huge completion. As a defense, it's so hard covering this guy. Because of his frame, you're not really going to match up. But this guy's also got some wheels. The hard part is bringing him down after the catch. This guy's like a giant giraffe. You're just lions hanging on his neck trying to drag him to the ground. Not easy to do. They're trying to get to it. And the freshman will chalk up a sack. As a defensive end, trust me, I was a defensive end, I can tell you. You start getting a little lathered up. Now you got your second sack. It's only the third quarter. Your eyeballs are getting big. This is going to be one of those days. I'm going to get me three. I'm going to get me four. Shoot, I might even get me five. That is the last thing you want on first down as an offensive sack. Now it's second down. He's looking to throw. Got it in the middle. It's Burke. Got room at the 35. Ripping through the defense and getting it all the way down to the 24-yard line. And as a defense, how scary is it having to defend this guy? He's one of the fastest players in America, and you saw it on that last play. It's not necessarily throwing him the ball over your head. They just get it to him quickly. He'll take a shot. Can't make the grab quarterback. Just missed him a little bit. Now on second down. Motion by the back forces the defense to adjust. That pass is incomplete, and they might be fortunate. It wasn't knocked free for a fumble. It'll be third down. It's a draw. How about this confidence in the running game? And he picks up nine just short of the marker. It'll be fourth and one. And they decide to trot out the kicker. Kick is good. The offense has three points to show for the drive. And now the lead is even bigger. They keep pushing that lead out, and the kickoff team's getting some work. He'll start the return inside his five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Kentucky sends the offense back out onto the field. Coming out on first down with the play fake. They face a pretty tall mountain here, Jesse, down 24, but if they're going to climb it, this is a good time to start. Sense of urgency's got to be big right here. You just get the feeling at this point of the game, David. They've got to score on this drive. Obviously, their defense needs to get stops, but at this point, offensively, they've got to execute much better. They, they got to be super aggressive. Down 24, you're going to need three touchdowns, three two-point conversions, everything to kind of go your way. So fast and throw in the football. Man down on the play as the officials take a break to let him be checked out. After losing a couple on that last play, here's second and 12. Back to pass, it's Vandergrift. Pressure coming. And they got him. He'll get him down for the sack. And listen, the quarterback drops back. And he's going through his progressions. We see zone, but just couldn't do anything about it. This defensive line, this pressure, getting to the quarterback, getting him on the ground. Whatever they did on first and second down, 
Don't do that anymore. Third and very long coming up. Looking downfield, and he needs a bunch. Gets away from one. Under heavy pressure, lets it fly. And that one's incomplete. They weren't just trying to move the chains. They were trying to move the scoreboard. Instead, it's fourth down. Running it back, it's Abrams. They'll get down and put a stop to this return. They'll mark it at the 32. The Gators sending the offense back to work. They kicked a field goal on the last drive, Jesse. They've got the lead. Don't make a dumb mistake. And this sophomore able to wreak some havoc and get the sack. Another sack by this defense. But how about this QB? He continues to get back up every single time, still leading his team, still staying positive, still putting them in a good position to win this football game. Not a lot of productivity on that last play. They'll try it again on second and long from the 23. Off the play fake. Makes the catch. It's Burke. And that defense pushing him out of bounds after a short game. Ball's at the 27. This offense facing a third and long. Coming after it. And here's a fumble way behind the line. And the defense jumps on it, and they get that turnover. Third and long equals pass almost every single time. Pin your ears back. Go get the quarterback. Great job by the defense understanding the situation. Everybody flying upfield, putting pressure. Know the quarterback's going to hold it. Get to him. Strip. Sack. You get the rock. And the fumble recovery gives the ball to the offense with a first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. He's got it down to the one-yard line right on the doorstep of Pater. Second and goal for this offense. He'll pull it on the read. And he's loose, and he'll take it to the house. Touchdown, Kentucky! Got to start cutting into this lead somewhere. Now the question, will they have enough time? But that's step one. You got to get that first score. You got to get back in the ball game and get some of that momentum back on your side. You still got more work to do, but step one accomplished. They'll line up to go for two. They're going to run it. He gets in there for the two-point conversion, and now we have a two-possession game. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. Here he comes from inside his own five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic that they get him on the ground at the 20. Florida has the ball back, and here comes the offense. As it turns out, the fumble on that last drive set up the touchdown, David. And there's no bigger stat in football than turnovers. You turn the football over, they turn it into points. Jesse, that is not a recipe for success. Good news, though, they get another chance, right? They can make amends with this drive right here. That's all that's important. You've got to execute and you've got to lock in. And the physical play there forces the incompletion on first down. After the misfire, now on second down. They'll give it to Johnson. At midfield, he's got room. Afterburner's coming. He's got the sideline going nuts as he gets it down to the 18-yard line. All right, David, as someone that loves defense and sound defense, how would you evaluate their job fitting that? To quote the great philosopher, Reese Davis, that was very ungood. Defense is about making the ball go where you want it to go. Like guys doing their job and, and fitting it to the second level player correctly. That was a clinic tape on what not to do. Trying to cap this drive with a pass. Pulls it in, it's Johnson. And the defense had that one well covered, just a short game there. Offense gets set for second down. Leaves it with the back. They get him on the ground, but not before he gets enough for the first down. The Gators will try to punch it in on first and goal. 
They'll try to get it in with the run. He is going nowhere. Stop at the line of scrimmage. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. Looking downfield, it's Mertz. Pocket starts to collapse. And he was looking into the end zone, but it's incomplete. It's still third and goal. From the gun, wants to pass. Touchdown, Gator! And the punishment has been extended. Having a playmaker like this guy is just an added bonus for this offense. Yeah, it is, Reese, and he's got tremendous awareness. He feels what the defense is trying to do, and he knows if he can break contain and get outside, nobody's going to catch him. He showed you the wheels right there. PAT unit on the field. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. Let's go to the studio now and check in with Kevin Connors. Kevin, what do you got? All right, guys, we're going to update you on a game that went final moments ago. Arkansas took care of business and left little doubt in doing so. And for a program that's won double-digit conference titles between the SEC and the old Southwest Conference, this is big time. Off play action on first down. The circle of life in college football, where one team moves on feeling like kings and the other heads home licking its wounds. Kevin, thanks a lot for that one. Sounds as if they had a good one there. End of the pile, maybe got one. He stopped at the 21. And this offense can ill afford to come up empty on this drive, already trailing by multiple possessions. They'll throw it to the back on the screen. And he was able to get away from one tackle, but plenty of help was on the way. Decent pickup on that play. Kentucky sent out the punting unit. On the move, it's Abrams. He's brought down, but a really solid effort to pick up every bit of yardage he could on the punt return. The Gators sending the offense back to work. How about that blocking up front in that running game last time as they just walked it down for a touchdown, David? And the big boys up front doing their job. Opening holes, the backs making plays, everything on the ground on that first drive worked. And we know that this is the identity this coaching staff wants for this team, right? They want to be the most physical team on the field. Let's see if they can keep it up. And he just wore out his welcome in the pocket, stayed in there way too long, a coverage sack for this defense. Goodness gracious, this is a master class, a clinic on how to get to the quarterback. The seventh sack of the game, are you kidding me? That's a season for some teams, they've lived in the backfield. They come to the line, facing third and long from the 25. To the air, it's Mertz. Feeling some heat. And here comes the pressure, and there he goes down again. And finally, you're seeing some life from the defense. They've been struggling all game long up to this point, but back-to-back -back sacks on two consecutive plays, they're at least still trying to fight back in this game. And the Gators will punt it away on fourth down. Doesn't say much for your drive when you're looking forward to the punt. He'll aim it toward the sideline to try to make it tough on the return team. And the punt goes out of bounds. We'll check the spot. Think they'll have it right around the 40-yard line. Looking to move it through the air. Find his big tight end. They get him on the ground, and that'll be the final play of this third period. We've come to the end of the quarter, and it's Florida on top. And as we switch ends of the field, let's take a quick look at the national rankings. One more quarter to go, and it looks as if we are ready to play. Quarterback by himself in the backfield. He's looking for an open man on second down. Throws to the wideout. Makes a connection. 
And this defense is a half a beat behind. They just can't quite keep up. They've got it down to the 21. An explosive play takes them right outside the red zone, and they've got it first and 10. Trying to get the corner. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. Kentucky back at it with a fresh set of downs. To the ground. He's got it again. They get him down after a four-yard gain to the six. Going to work on second down in the red zone is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. Quick handoff. And he rolls into the house. Touchdown, Wildcats! Looking for the two-point try. On the option. Stumbled to the ground. Well, we know this quarterback is dynamic with his running ability, and on the two-point attempt, they tried to use his legs to get it in, but the defense was there to stop him short. On the move from inside his five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Florida has the ball back, and here comes the offense. Power football with the run. Runs through the tackle. Crosses the 30, he's got a lane. Finally run out of bounds, but he has his offense rolling with a first down. Well, the defense knew coming into this one, Reese, that this team was going to try to use their speed and take advantage of it, and they did right there. Nice gain on the run play to the right. Found plenty of running room in that defense. They've got to find a way to get there, make the tackle in the open field. Yeah, and they got to do a good job with their eyes, finding the football. And they've got to get a lot of bodies to this guy because he is fast. The handoff to Johnson. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. The give on the inside. And he's not going to make it. The defense denying him the first down. The Gators send out the punt unit. He'll bring it back. It's Brown. They'll get down and put a stop for the return at about the 28-yard line. Kentucky has it back, and the big blue offense takes the field. He wants to start this drive with a pass. Finds his tight end. Stopped at the 43 after the 15-yard pickup. Perfect play call for that big gain to open the drive. Now here they come on first and 10. They're bringing heat. The freshman able to get home with the sack. And when I got a stud quarterback like, like they do, I'm going to protect him. I'm going to make sure that I keep him upright because he can do some serious damage. But this defense applying pressure and applying the hammer in this football game. That's the last thing you want as an offense. A negative play. A sack on first down. Back to pass, it's Vandergrift getting some heat. And the pressure is coming in, and they get him again. And I tell you what, this defense, they've heard all about how great this quarterback is. They came in today with a mission, with a purpose. They've been flying around, harassing him, and making life so hard on this offense. Might as well state the obvious. First and second down didn't work out. Third and very long. Looking to throw and he needs a chunk play. Trying to get to it. Couldn't find a man and just had to throw it away to avoid a negative play. Down in the fourth quarter, it's too late for empty possessions. They'll go for it on fourth down. He hurls one deep down the left side. And it's knocked away. They'll give up the ball, failing to convert on fourth. Line gets set, first down. Use the play fake, now to throw. Makes the grab, it's Johnson. 
there to make the tackle, but the big throw is good enough to give them a first down. The Gators are threatening in the red zone. The give to the back. Relentless, tough running gets it down to the four. Operating in the red zone here on second down. Right back to him on the ground. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Boy, they love to move the sticks here and take a shot at it on first and goal. Wants to throw on third. They're trying to get to it. And the pressure gets him back at the eight-yard line. Not sure exactly what led to that, whether the protection wasn't right or the quarterback just didn't see it, but the result was a negative play in a sack. Well, one thing I do know is that quarterback had no chance to get that ball downfield. That pocket was breaking down, and it was breaking down quickly. There were just too many bodies Number in that backfield for the QB to make anything goal. happen. And for the second time tonight, they'll trot out the field goal kicker. Right down the boulevard, it's good. And that will extend their lead even further. Just keeps getting fatter, and this kickoff team doing a little running. He'll bring it out. It's Patterson. Pulled down at the 18, and the decision to bring it out of the end zone was not a good one. Kentucky sends the offense back out onto the field. They'll come out on this drive and let it rip. Fires to the wideout. Right on the money to the outside. He dragged the toe. And how about the ball placement? Only the receiver could get it. They'll throw it on first down. Pressure coming. And the defense gets to the quarterback. I got to give this defense a lot of credit. They were very confident coming into this one. Even though they were going up against one of the best quarterbacks in the entire country, they're confident because they believe in their ability to get to him. And they've been able to do that in this game. There's another sack here. Well, after not getting a thing done on first down, it's second and long from the 24. Dropping back, it's Vandergriff. <laughs> And the defense gets loose, bringing the heat, and down he goes again. It's pretty obvious. This defense came into this one knowing they were going to have to play a complete game until there were zeros on the clock, especially against this quarterback. You cannot take your foot off the gas. And that's exactly what they're doing here. Late in the fourth quarter, they're still bringing it, and they get another sack. And whatever they did on first and second down, don't do that anymore. Third and very long coming up. He's looking downfield to throw. Coming after him. And this defense is bringing the heat. Another sack. Coach has no choice here. The offense has to stay on the field. Down multiple possessions this late. Fourth down attempt coming. He lost it high and deep down the left side. And it's incomplete way downfield. And the defense rises to the occasion. First down for this offense. They'll keep it on the ground. They want this clock to move. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. A negative play to open the drive. Let's see what they've got on second and 14. The give to the lone running back. They make the stop, but not before he takes a chunk out of what they need to move the sticks. We've reached the two-minute warning, and this offense is that much closer to salting away a victory. From the gun, they'll try to impose their running game. And the defense knew exactly where that first down line was, and they stopped him short. And they'll run the field goal unit back out there. This kicker has already banged a couple through. It is true as he puts three on the board. And they'll push that lead out a little further. And let's check in with Kevin Connors in the studio. Kevin? Fellas, I think at least a portion of your audience will have an interest in the one that just finished up. Clemson had an impressive showing there in Death Valley, winning this one by double digits, although it felt like it could have been more. 
and somewhere even Trevor Lawrence is impressed with this one. It's one game. You don't want to react too much either way. But I think both teams will leave this one with some things to work on moving forward. And Kevin Connors keeping an eye on everything all over the country. Sounds like they had a good one there. They'll start this drive with a pass. Pocket starts to collapse. And that defense gets to him, and down he goes at the nine. Everybody has to be set. They have to get it off. Looking to throw, it's Vandergrift. Feeling some heat. And here comes the pressure, and there he goes down again. And the Wildcats moving quickly to the line. On third and long, you'll need to push it downfield. They're bringing heat. And the pressure gets to him again. Another sack. This offense has failed on its previous two fourth down attempts, but they need to keep this drive alive. Try to get it on the ground. He's not going to make it. And what a big stop for this defense. And they might be able to put this thing away. And they take a knee on fourth down, having inflicted enough damage. And that ought to do it. Guys, I'm going to tell you, I just never saw this team falling into a three-game losing streak. They are wounded, reeling, and they've had their confidence shaken. It's been ugly. There's no other way to spin it. This is very ungood, not good. Um, Got to find some way to get this turned around. Got to make more plays. Um, you know, this is something that's frustrating, but let's not let it define your dynasty, right? Fix it, get it back together, try to pull some wins, try to figure this thing out. It's frustrating too, David, because this is a team that has a lot of talent. I think part of the problem these last couple of games now has been lack of effort. So if you're on the coaching staff, Maybe you're ready to start giving you guys an opportunity to see the field and just see what they can do. That's going to do it for us from here. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, I'm Reese Davis, and this has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.